such regular programming to bring you a message. Hello again, and welcome to Mike's Retro Tech and the Retro Tech Loft. 18 months ago, 12 months ago, I can't remember when, um, I did this original video where I converted a um, small form factor PC case into an Atari ST, STE um, hard drive case, SCSI case with a SCSI CD-ROM drive and what was going to be a SCSI zip drive. Now, the interface that I've got in here, let me take these out of the way because they're just a pain. So the interface I've got in here is a ProGate 2, which is a SCSI interface to ADC converter, so ACD, ASC, ESCII, whatever, to the Atari. As you saw in the previous video, to the Atari. So SCSI, 50 pin, to the Atari connector here. Um, and it worked well, this is good, it's a nice grey case because I've got the grey spray, spray paint um, It's looking a bit gnarly now, it's had a fair bit of use recently, it's got some dings in it so I need to fix those But, my problem is that the zip drive, the SCSI zip drive is a PC one and it requires parity And the ProTAR, ProGate, SCSI interface on the Atari that I've got here doesn't support parity I bought a parity chip, I tried to wire it up in line with the back of here and it didn't work. So, because of that, I'm going to replace this now and take it out because I don't need it. It's one of those things I thought I was going to copy stuff onto it from the PC, but not really needed. Um, it's uh, one of those things where I've not used this for a while and I would rather have it blanked off than just sat there and I can sell this to someone that's going to use it. Now the problem I've got is that you can't get three and a, quarter, three and a half inch floppy drive blanking plates, right? Which is a pain because they are just not available, not even the black ones to spray. So I've had to think of something else and I'll show you what it is in a minute when I find it. A few moments later. So these um, and these three and a half inch blanking plates are really hard to get hold of. I can't find any on eBay. The search for facial plates, blanking plates, there's nothing. And then the odd one turns up and it's like 12 quid. It's ridiculously expensive. So I've been looking round for something that, that would fit. And surprisingly, from Ikea, yeah, they have this. The Betted Lig. Betted Lig? Yeah, that's what it says anyway. And what it is, is the converter, the holder for um, a curtain rail. So it's their curtain rail. And these are about £2.50, I think they were, when I bought these for a couple of years ago, and they've been in storage. Um, so it has the hook. So either way you can do it, that way or that way. But it's this blanking plate that I'm interested in. And what it is... Is like a piece of plastic just there and this this one's already been done I've, I've taken one out of the packet already and and as you can see you can spray it it works quite well but miraculously it's just three and a half inch size so it's it's the right size it's too long but it's the right size so I'm going to cut this down with my saw and see whether we can make it stick in there as a drive cover. That's the that's that's the that's the plan. That's the plan. So I'm going to take this apart, take this out now. First of all, power it up and take the zip drive, the actual zip disc out because it's not good keeping it in there. Take this out, cut this down, put this in, and then we'll reassemble it and we'll see what it looks like. But for two pound fifty, it's a lot cheaper than buying six or seven quid online for a blanking plate and it actually looks better than having the, the floppy drive built into it, you know, the blanking plate. So there we go. So I'll take it apart and we'll we'll see what goes on. Okay, so the zip disc's out. So we'll now take the case off. I mean, this case is bashed. It's been it's been used quite a lot, so it needs it needs another coat of um, this is what I did last time, the rest uh, the rust-oleum painter's touch stone grey. 
and that's the closest to the Atari ST colour that I could find. So I'm going to have to get some more clear coat as well, which I've got up there on my shelf. So we'll repaint this and then we'll put some clear coat on it and hopefully it will stay undamaged for a long time. Right, so there's the lid off. And as you can see in here, the zip drive is held in by one screw and it isn't connected, it's only connected with the power. So we take the power off, put the power up there. So what that means is I can have, I can change this Molex to be another three and a half inch drive and we'll get another three and a half inch floppy in that if we can because I'm not, you know, not a floppy drive, sorry, I'm in a three and a half inch hard drive. Um, they are quite expensive though, these 50 pin old, let's see, where did that go? Blimey, that's gone somewhere. <laughs> uh, damn, where did that go? Oh, flipping heck. I can't believe that screw's gone. Oh, there we go. It went all the way through. That's nice. There we are. Right. Yeah, so this is now screwed in on this side. Behind, I think, this. Yeah, so we're going to have to take off the power supply. And then take the screw out. of the zip drive, there it is. Okay, so screw from here out. Yeah, there we go. And that's two there, brilliant. So, that goes back in there with the three screws that we had originally. What I do need to do also is from the original ProGate ProTar case is take the blanking plate and put the blanking plate over there. It means just scraping it off. It's a piece of plastic with it written on in German. Well, that should go over there and make it look nice. And then that's complete and it can be used properly. It's a shame. These, these cases are really good. Um, it'd be nice to put a really powerful brand new PC in one of these and then make some sort of gaming rig. Right, so... What we need to do is push that out there, and there we go. So there is, oh look at that, it's an Apple one. <laughs> um, okay, Apple zip drive, 50 pin scuzzy. Yeah, brilliant. So zip disk, zip drive, out. And then this is what I was gonna say. This is, this is what I'm on about, is that will fit in there quite nicely and what I'll do is I will super glue that in because I don't need it um, I don't need it as a floppy drive so let's mark this out let's move this to one side get my pencil and let's mark this out sort of there To there and then from there to there and then hopefully see I thought I'd got a ruler no we've got a caliper we'll, we'll use a straight edge on the caliper and that should go where should that go let's have a look Uh, 
That should go there. That's right, yeah. So one side of that has got a flat edge. The other side is completely open where it slides up. So I'm not bothered about that really because, 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 it's gonna be inside here anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's see if we can get that as straight as possible. I don't have, do I have a, oh I do actually. Let's try this, let's try my tenon saw on my saw block. That might help, so ten and so. Take out my brick drills. Move that to one side. So I've got my ten and block there. And I've got my ten and saw. And we should be able to do it this way, like that. Oh yeah, look at that, and that's gonna be completely straight. And there we go. Not ideal, because tenon saws are obviously for wood and not plastic, but it seemed to work. So that was back in its hidey hole down there. Oh. Okay. And then. bit of the sandpaper and then there we go nice and straight so does it fit in there and it does that's brilliant right so what we need to do now is work out a way of getting it super glued onto here so I think the best thing to do is super glue one side and the base and fit it on there like that which means taking this off now this I do believe was a hex head no too small right it's gonna have to be the iFixit clone. Here we go. So what have we got? What have we got? Hex, too big. Hex, just the right size. Now, this front should come off with this power switch. So let's have a look and see whether that's right. So one of those, one. Two. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, it looks like this. Yeah, see the, the, the paint was stuck around this. It hadn't dried enough. Oh, that's not good. Right, I'm definitely going to have to respray that then. Now, so which bit is this? Is this the grey bit or is this the blue bit as well? I honestly can't remember. No, it's the blue bit as well, which is fantastic. There we go, look at that, right. So what we can do, is we can fit that in there like that. And we'll recess it back a bit, so it just, it's just got a bit of a recess in there, which is fantastic. So, super glue, super glue, on there, and then on the bottom brilliant now that can go that can go straight Nice. Oh, and look at that. 
you would never know there was a drive in there, would you? That's brilliant. I'm liking that a lot. Right, let's get these back in. Let's see what sort of damage we've got to the plastic case. Because I've still not finished this, I've still got to fill these holes in at the front as well. So, I don't know what to use for those, that's the problem. One of those. Oh, and then one of those there, there we go. Nice, okay. So there we are, job done for that. So that looks really good. Got to touch up a tiny bit of that, which is a bit of a pain, but it needs to be done. So let's have a see what we've got. I've got my pain here. I need to do it on a piece of cardboard, I think. There we go. Never tell it was dinged. Yeah. Nice. Right, done. Job done. Excellent. While we've got some of that, let's have a look at this here. So, what have we got on the case? We've got a ding there, a ding there, a ding on the corner here. Uh, where else have we got dings now? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, one ding there as well. Yeah, and then we've got some bits there where the paint has actually come through and bubbled. So. Yeah, that's quite good. Right, excellent. Okay, so we're back to normal, back to the nice gray. Back to the state it was in previously, without any dings in it. So once that's dry, I will I will put some clear coat on it, and then that'll make it stable and solid. I might even clear coat the front of that, actually. It's a good idea. Um, right, so that goes to one side to dry. That goes in the bin. And this goes to one side now because the zip drive is out and there's no point in actually powering it on because I know it will work and, and it should be fine. So there we go. So I've removed the zip drive because I've no, no use for it anymore and replaced it with a very cheap £2.50-ish. I'll try and find the price and put it in here now. And um, if you've got some of these, you can use these in like your workshop or your shed or something and then use that plastic bit to replace your fascias. But this should work for PC cases because this is a standard PC case. So if you're stuck for um, three and a half inch um, drive blanking plates, then you can use these from Ikea. Um, and they work really well as I've proven. You can spray them black, you can spray them whatever color, um, cream, gray, Whatever colour you've got, you can spray it and it looks fine. So I think that looks better than a non-used zip drive. So when I use this now, I'll just get two hard drives and the CD-ROM drive. And then I can write stuff on the PC to the CD-ROM. Yeah, so there we go. So this needs some more paint around here, but it's done. So that was it. That's a very quick video on replacing the zip drive, which isn't used, with a blanking plate from Ikea. So there we go. So I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. 
click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload more videos. Do yourself a favour and download the YouTube mobile app so you get push notifications when I upload the videos. Um, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. What do you think of this? Is it you know a project that you'd like to see more of? Do you want to see it running? I have run it in the past, but I can run it again on my Atari. Um, but as ever, thanks for watching. Come back next time. See you soon. Goodbye.